What up? It's your man Money B from Digital Underground and Money B and Young Hump. And when I'm not drinking 40s with your grandmama, I'm kicking it. Block Report TV. Well, Digital Underground, like I said, it was it was the the brainchild of Shock G. Uh, it was his vision, right? But in his vision, he visioned it to be an entity. So even though he was, he was, you know, it started and stopped with him, but he always wanted it to be a, a, an army per se, you know. So how I how I kind of explain it is, and what it ended up being, was like a a big production team, where he was the he was the the person that had the last say, but it was all about everybody contributing to to make something. So, you know, like I said, me and Fuse were Raw Fusion before we were in Digital Underground. So people think, oh, you guys were in Digital Underground, then you spun off. But it was more so, Shock was like, you guys work with me, and then, and then you'll be, you know, let's make this thing, and then you'll be able to do your thing. Same thing with Tupac, same thing with Gold Money, same thing with Mystic, you know, Saphir. It was like, come be a part of this and it'll help you eventually to put your record out. So he didn't, Shock didn't want you if you didn't already have something going. So I think the perception was you got in a group and then you kind of spun off. But, but in reality, it was like, come work with me and I'm gonna help you get your thing going. And that's kind of like how it was. So anybody that was, you know, people say, oh, you know, Tupac used to be, well, nobody ever got fired from Digital Underground or nobody ever quit either. So everybody that was remained a member, but they all eventually went on and did their thing. And, you know, we even consider like the Loonies a part of the family. You know, Fuse was their DJ and, and I had their tape, you know, before, Five on it hit and shot helped produce on that album, you know, so they were a part of that family as well. <laughs>